everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and today I'm taking a look at this little router from TP-Link. It's a little puck that looks a lot like an Apple Airport Express, but it is a little bit more versatile. So let's take a closer look at it and see exactly what it does. Now, the first thing that I like about this router is that it is powered by USB, and in fact, you can plug it into your computer. It has a, uh, a splitter cable, so if your USB port doesn't provide enough power, you can plug it into two ports and get what you need. Although on the Mac, I found that the, the ports are powerful enough to... Uh, support it and it's just power. I'm not getting any data through this thing, but uh, it also comes with a regular USB uh, AC adapter you can plug into the wall as well. But if you want to carry one less adapter in your bag, this is a great way to uh, do that. Just power it off your computer. Uh, it has an Ethernet port. Uh, internally, it has a wireless N adapter for Wi Fi. Uh, the other thing that it has, which I found really fascinating, is that it's got this switch on board here uh, and there's a option for 3G, 4G. There's WISP and AP, and basically what this will do is set the mode of the router so that you can use it for different things. So AP mode is used for a wireless access point mode. So if you just want to plug it into your local network and get a wireless uh, net, little network that you can set up anywhere in your house or office, you can do that just by flicking it to AP. What's nice about this is that it turns all of the routing off. So you're not going to blow up your network and have all this crazy stuff happen because it's trying to take over. It disables all of its routing and just becomes basically a dumb access point. Now, if you switch it over to the 3G, 4G mode, uh, that will basically turn it into a full-blown router. And uh, what it will let you do is either plug it in uh, through its Ethernet adapter here so that you can use it just like you would any Linksys router that you might purchase at the store. Uh, but it also has another USB port here, and this is where you would plug in a 4G or 3G modem that you would use from your cellular carrier like Verizon or AT&T. Now you should know I tried using uh, a Pantech USB LTE modem from Verizon, one of those 4G modems, and it was a little spotty. Sometimes the router picked it up and it worked fine, other times it didn't. Oddly enough, it worked best in my basement where the signal strength was the lowest. And I don't know why that is, but um, I found that the 3G, 4G reliability, at least for that Pantech modem, wasn't all that great. So you might want to check with uh, uh, TP-Link first before you purchase the product to make sure that your modem is indeed compatible. Now, my Pantech modem was on the list, but it just didn't seem uh, to work all that well. Now, one thing that's really interesting about it, though, is that depending on the mode that you're in, you'll get different options within the web control panel for the device. And that's kind of a, a nice thing because it, it will let you only configure what you've switched the router mode into. So, for example, when you're in access point mode, uh, you can have it set up as a repeater. You can basically have it run as an access point. Uh, you can do a bridge mode and a couple of other things. When it's in that 3G, 4G mode, uh, it becomes a bunch of router options. So where do you want to route your internet from? Do you want to route it from the USB or do you want to have it go through the Ethernet back out to the Wi-Fi? So um, it gives you a bunch of options and it saves those options when the, the switch is thrown. So if you went from router mode at home to perhaps access point mode while you're on the road or vice versa, it'll remember what settings you have when you went back to that. And that's a pretty uh, helpful feature there. So it is a pretty well-rounded router. I have found it to work pretty well uh, with the exception of when I plug my 4G modem into it. So I'm going to keep playing with that. Uh, but I was a little disappointed that it didn't uh, quite have that solid feel to that uh, 4G modem as it didn't always work. I'm Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. And this is the uh, little Pantech uh, or TP-Link router uh, that did not work with my Pantech. Thanks for watching. <laughs>